Question is, what do we do for fun? In Venice, Florida. In this video, we're gonna tell you some of our favorite things to do all throughout the area. And we're getting started right now. So of course, there's the obvious thing, the beaches, right? I mean, when you think of Venice, you think of the beaches, shark tooth hunting, all the stuff that you could do on the beaches. Uh, there's tons, right? Also boating and water sports. We do see quite a few people surfing by the jetty usually. But we don't really do that. That's kind of like what other people <laughs> do, I guess. But yeah, I mean, we do. We definitely do a lot of the beaches. We do the shark tooth hunting. We just hang out by the beach, relax, go to Sharkies, mm -hmm. all the beach stuff. Another thing that we like to do is check out the different parks that Venice has throughout the city and surrounding cities. Yeah, and there's a lot of them that we found that we love. We love Shamrock Park, Pine Brook. The little, all the little parks in near the Venice downtown. They're quite small, but they're fun to yeah, go to. Yeah, John Nolan is one that stands out. Also, West Blaylock. There's Woodmere, uh, Lemon Bay Park and Preserve, which goes from South Venice into Englewood. And with that, I think another thing we like to do, so this is number three, I guess, yes. would be kind of a park type thing, which is like what we're in right now, downtowns. We love going to downtowns. Obviously there's shopping restaurants, just going for a walk. So we're in the brand new Welland Park downtown. We'll link you to a full video for that in the description. Yes, yeah, so and this downtown, it's pretty because right now, as you can see, we're walking around the lake. So we're in the downtown, but we're in the quiet, <laughs> in a quiet area. So it feels more like you're almost in a trail, but like a paved trail. Yeah, and then there's also Inglewoods down Downtown. We'll get out there fairly often in Dearborn Street. Sarasota's downtown, yep. St. Armand Circle. Yeah, there's also in Sarasota. Siesta Key Village. There's the downtown by the beach of Inglewood. So by, by Inglewood Beach there. And then of course, Venice is downtown. So, I mean, there's tons of options and tons of things to do. We also go to uh, Fort Myers and we have been to Tampa's yeah. downtown as well. Yeah, Fort Myers has like one of our favorite restaurants there. What was it called like 1025, I think? Yes. Really good food, <laughs> oh my gosh. We always go there and get the brunch, so good. Number four kind of ties into number three. It's all the shopping and restaurants that we have available to us. So if we wanna go to like a bigger city, we go to Sarasota for shopping. There is a ton of shopping there. Especially in UTC area. UTC and UTC mall which you to see mall is a little more upscale, a little more expensive, but it is still a nice area to go to. And there's enough major chains outside mm -hmm. of that kind of sprinkled in and a little bit in the mall too that, you know, you don't yes. have to be super fancy to go there. It's not all expensive. Yeah. Also for shopping, if we don't feel like going to Sarasota or anywhere else, Venice has a, quite a bit of shopping. We have a Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Bells, Target. So there's a lot of different department stores that we usually go to. We don't feel like making the drive down to Sarasota. Yeah. and also you can't forget like all just like the smaller mom and pop more local one-on-one type shops that are in the downtowns and just sprinkled throughout the city also in Inglewood, Northport, all the areas surrounding and also sometimes if we want to get to a mall and just for a change of pace we'll go to Port Charlotte's mall mm -hmm. or catch a movie there. Another thing that we'll get to in a little bit we like to go watch movies and there are some good movie theater options throughout the area but restaurants was the other thing that ties in with that number four so I guess it's four and five but yeah I like to eat. <laughs> A lot, I and, like I, to eat too. and I and I, you know, I think we're both really big fans of going to places with unique food or di different types of food, um, unique combinations of food, and we got a lot to offer both in Venice and then also if you include like Sarasota, Northport, Inglewood, there's just so much. We got full videos basically just talking about some of our favorite restaurants just in in Venice. If you want us to make a dedicated video with some of our favorite restaurants sprinkled through all throughout the area, Port Charlotte, Northport, Inglewood, Sarasota, etc. Leave a comment, let us know, and we will get you a video for that. And we'll go out to eat and show you what we eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we could definitely do that. We're really good at that. We'll do that for you. <laughs> a lot of sacrifice happening on this channel. Before getting into number six, if you are looking to buy or sell a home in the area, make sure to call, text, or email us. I am a local realtor here. My information will be in the description box below. One number is 941-221-1897. We call or text at any time. We hear from people all the time, and we love it, and we got your back all the time. So the next thing we love to do is going to movies. We, we have a lot of different options. Usually, we like to go to the AMC Theater in South, Sarasota. But we also like to go to the Port Charlotte Regal and here in Venice we have a really nice theater which is Spotlight. Spotlight. It was B&B. We weren't really sure about it because the first couple times we went to movies sometimes the audio wasn't loud enough but we yeah. revisited since Spotlight took it over. The last two we went to two movies pretty recently the audio was great. great. The seats yes. are amazing. They're the nice leather reclining and they are heated too which a lot of theaters are usually too cold. I just wanted to stop here quick because I'm noticing Oh yeah. There's some extra trails that are being constructed. They're just so, gravel right now. So there's three trails. This whole Welland Park area, we will be doing another 
thing to do that we like to do, mm -hmm. which is exploring more of the trails and parks throughout the area, which was the, the number, number one two, or two thing two. on the list. The next thing we like to do is kind of like the main things to do. We'll link you to a video of like, kind of like it's called the, we call it the best spots in Venice. And that's basically to go to the island. And then on the island, a lot of times we'll go to the downtown, which we already mentioned, but we like to walk through then the Heritage Park Trail, which basically goes to Venice Beach. And then the jetty. The, the jetty is a great spot to just go hang out, get a bite to eat. Sometimes there's live music playing there. It's a great place to catch sunsets and... Dolphins, we have seen dolphins there and manatees. Yes. And a lot of different birds. And a lot of people actually go there. Like the night before we're filming this video, we tried going there yeah. and it was just packed, but it's also the middle of spring break. So we literally had to turn around because we couldn't find, we wouldn't be able to find parking. Like we knew that right away. Yeah, so it's not just a thing to do for us. That's a thing to do for everyone, <laughs> everyone. that comes to visit Venice, not just that lives here. Another thing that we love doing in Venice and surrounding areas is go for a walk typically we'll either go for a walk just the two of us or we'll take our dog and i was gonna she really say you know who else likes to go for a walk but well, she's not here today the, the second <laughs> i hear you say go for a walk i can see her ears perking, perking up. up yes and sometimes like even if we don't say anything she makes up an idea and her head that we are going for a walk and she gets really excited so then we kind of <laughs> have to go for a walk yeah she forces us <laughs> to take a walk which is good keeps us active yes and also working out i'm either going to a gym which we do have different kinds of gyms we have a planet fitness a, there's like a venice fitness a ymca a bunch more um, yes and also pinebrook trail which is one of our favorite parks has a trail that you go on and has different workout equipment that you can do like pull-ups and stretching exercises things like that dips rows mm -hmm. Yeah, whole bunch. Yeah, a couple of more like outdoor parks that have like equipment like that too. You know, you've got tucked in in Casperson Beach, there's a little workout yes. equipment area. There's by Nokomis Park, which is really close to Venice, pretty much is Venice in our opinion, but you know, it's technically a separate city. <laughs> there, there's a lot there as well. And real quick, just wanted to show you, we are now walking around a different lake. So this walking trail by Welland Parks downtown has two different lakes that are connected through the trails this is really really cool yeah, we will be nice. coming back I, li I like that we can get the best of both worlds yeah with... this is our first time walking around the lakes yeah so i like that we can both do the trail thing and do the downtown thing all in one mm -hmm. nice quick trip but yeah another thing we like to do we kind of touched on this a little earlier but to go a little deeper is just basically go to new cities pockets suburbs downtowns shopping areas there's especially like with like uh sarasota we recently decided, okay, let's like get a little more knowledge on that area. And we checked out, you know, like the Gulf Gates mm -hmm. downtown area, just Waterside Village, which is a new one that's very reminiscent actually of Welland Parks yes. downtown. So just checking out some of those different areas that we haven't been to in the area, even within like, you know, sometimes we'll go down, we wanted to check out Naples and see more about what Naples was about and then, you know, revisit. Bonita Springs, you know, just all, all the cities throughout the area. We made trips all the way to the East Coast. In fact, we made a whole Atlantic trip video where we checked out basically everything north of Fort Lauderdale and up on the east coast and made a whole trip of that so we'll link you to another video comparing the Gulf Coast versus the Atlantic and kind of our thoughts on that but that's something fun for us to do is just kind of discover more about the state that we've only been in now about five years so I shouldn't say only anymore I guess five <laughs> years is a pretty good amount of time and it's always fun for us to drive around and get to see different areas that we haven't been to before or even if we have been to them like Casey Key is a place that we keep going back taking our family and friends when they're here and it's always like amazing just to look at all the mansions there <laughs> yeah and and even yeah like a, a lot since we have again like so we, so we mentioned a lot of the different places and downtowns and shopping and restaurants and things that we like to go to since there's so much to pick from when you don't go to them very often yeah. even even if you're like getting out and doing stuff a lot there's always something like oh wow i haven't done that in a while i should go back there or mm -hmm. wow when, we, when we're there like we haven't been here in like six months this is great to just get to like st armand circle again yes. you know so it's just kind of cool that way with this area there's you still kind of get that small town feel from most of the cities sarasota feels a little bit bigger but you still got like so much to do like you would out of a big city one other thing that we like to do kind of ties in with workouts but this is something i like to do and i know a lot of people locally do is just use a lot of like the different parks as far as for like you know sports tennis pickleball i like to play basketball and i got a basketball skills training channel so i'll do a lot of videos on that channel and i just i go there just as much to just get outside and get active as i do to do the videos and be drenched in sweat and, and I love it. I'm one of those crazy people like sweating, but. And you know, now that you mentioned that, there are some uh, sports complex 
that are actually free and you have like open gym time that you can go and like shoot some hoops or film some videos if you want. I don't think that you have filmed videos yet. Yeah. But, but it is a nice touch. Like it's free. We've never had anything like that before. Yeah, yeah. And, and on that note, like we mentioned earlier with checking out different parks, that's another thing I just enjoy going to different parks to find like different basketball courts and they all look different have a different vibe different feel different surroundings some are going to be feel like like the downtown venice court you're in the middle of the city a little bit more mm -hmm. but then they got ones that feel more jungly it's just kind of fun to like go into different scenery and, and get a different vibe and get out and be active which is what a lot of people move to florida for us included exactly with that being said if you're looking to buy or sell a home in the area make sure to call text or email us i am a local realtor here my information will be in the description box below phone number is 941-221-1897 call or text at any time we hear from people all the time and we love it again check out those videos that we'll have in the description about some of the things that we were mentioning throughout this video check out the merch linked in the description and live breezy, breezy.